Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hope you all are doing well. I've recently got back into doing a little bit of music for my hobby, so basically what this video is going to be about is I'm just going to do like a review video tutorial of what I think to this new purchase of the Scarlet Solo Studio 3rd generation. Uh, USB audio interface. Basically, I bought this because I sold all my music equipment last year and recently I just thought that I wanted to get back into doing a little bit of music again and I just thought because it includes everything, the microphone, headphones, interface, I just thought I'd just get it instead of like looking into what exact microphone to buy and all that sort of stuff. It's just easy and I got it from Amazon so I'll do an affiliate Amazon link down below if you guys are keen in this exact one. I'm just going to do a review and I'm just going to show you guys how I set it up using Logic Pro X. So if you guys are keen in that, then keep on watching. So I'm gonna start off with what comes inside. I have used this already, so I just thought I'd like tuck some of the stuff back in. Like that. So you've got the um, the headphones, and they come with a Z jack bit there. And I'm pretty sure you can take that off so it's like the smaller jack as well. And then you've got the XLR cable. And you've got this cable, you've got the USB here, you've got the USB Type-C. I think the Type-C bit plugs in to the interface and then that into the laptop. And then obviously you've got the microphone. So I've got my microphone right here. I've not plugged it in yet, so I've just like attached it to my mic stand, just ready to like set up and show you guys. So that's just there. I won't go into too much detail about the interface because my music knowledge is not as good <laughs> as it once was. You know, I'll just go into like the basics and stuff. So as it's a solo, you've got the XLR input there and then you've got the gain knob there. You've also got the um, phantom power there which is because this is a condenser microphone, you're gonna need the phantom power, so you click on that so it works. Whereas if you've got like a SM58 or something like that, you don't need to click the phantom power, but I'm sure you guys uh, know the basics of that already. And then there's also an air mode. Basically it adds some like high frequencies to uh, your headphones, so when you're recording you can hear it a bit better, a bit louder. And then you've got the, uh, the jack input there, so that is for plugging in your guitar or whatever else you want to plug in using a jack input. But yeah, for me, I've been plugging in my electric guitar. And then you've got the instrument button there. And then obviously you've got the uh, volume adjustment there. And on the back you've got the right and left outputs. I used to have a pair of uh, KRK speakers and if I still had them that would be so good because then I could just like uh, use them to connect to my KRK KRKs. So yeah, I won't be needing them. But um, yeah, if you guys have some like monitors then you can just plug them in through the back there. So the interface comes with this cable which you plug in on the back there. And then there's a USB plug in here. Uh, I've got one of the newer Macs, so it has the um, type C port. So I've got like an adapter here to plug it into, to plug into my computer. So I'll just plug that in there. And then there's the type C port to plug into my Mac. And now it's plugged in, you'll see the lights have come on there. I also wanted to say it is really small, it's really light. So compared to like the 2i2 one with the two ports, this one is slightly smaller. And obviously it only has one XLR and one jack. Whereas the 2i2 version has two, so you can record like two microphones at the same time. But with this one, I can only record one microphone at the same time. And that is all I really need it for. So I'm going to plug in my microphone now and show you guys how I set it up from scratch on Logic Pro X. Look down there. So I'm just gonna get Logic Pro X up on my computer and I'm gonna share the screen. You can see on the side there, one minute ago, Scarlet Solo USB detected. So yeah, that's all connected in. I am going to plug in my microphone and just gonna plug that in there. Just so you guys know, I'm not like a professional like music recording and all that stuff. It's just, you know, setting it up at home. I'm just sharing with you guys like how I do it. Um, so yeah, just like the easy peasy ways, you know. Also, as it didn't come with a jack, I've got my own jack lead. So I'm gonna use this to plug into my electric guitar. Let's so plug that in. Cables everywhere. <laughs> right. 
So this is literally like how I would set stuff up. I even like to like sit on my bed and have it all kind of set up like this and I'm just like playing on my bed with my laptop and stuff like that. So I literally just like set it up like anywhere. And I think that's the cool thing about having like an interface is just like, it's just so easy to set up and you can just record at like some random places. Right, so um, this is a new project I've got on my screen. I'm just gonna go into Logic preferences audio make sure it's all set up so you can see there scarlet solo usb scarlet solo usb right so the audio will be my microphone i've, I've got it on mute at the moment and it's an input one put my headphones on and let's press i and r Why is it not working? Input one. Ah, so the reason why it's not working, you need phantom power on. There you go, I can hear it now. Right, so I'm just gonna record it. So I'm gonna press R on the keyboard. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. So there you go, it's picked up my voice there. And then I'll just do the audio from my MacBook Pro. And see if you guys can hear it there. There we go. One, two, one, two, three, one, <laughs> two. <laughs> so yeah, that's all recorded. Let me just change that back to the Scarlet Solo. Apply. And that's done. So that's the microphone bit done. So if you guys are ready to do some vocal recordings, there you go. And obviously you can um, add some like EQ and some plugins, you know, add some like reverb to your voice, etc. So I won't go into all that. Next off, I'm going to get my guitar working. So I click on this little plus sign there, audio input to, and I'm gonna click on guitar or bass because that's what I've got. So there you go. Oh. <laughs> So there you go, you can see the guitar's getting picked up. I can't hear my voice in my headphones anymore, so I need to click on there. So I can hear that. Can I hear my guitar? So maybe I just need to put the gain up. I've had to put the uh, the gain up on there just so I can hear my guitar on my headphones. I can hear that fine. And I can hear myself through the microphone really well as well, so I don't need to put the gain up anymore there. So I'm just gonna do a quick recording of me playing and singing just to like show you guys that it records at the same time. So I'm just gonna press the R button on the keyboard and then that records. I wish it wasn't true. I wish it wasn't true for you. I wish it wasn't true. I feel a beat for you. Okay, so that's all recorded there. Output, MacBook Pro, apply. And then close that. So just like that really. And then you can play around with the different plugins, make the guitar the sound that you like it, make the your vocals the way you like it as well. Because they're both recorded on different tracks, that's really good, so you can play around with them separately. All in all, I'd say it's a really good interface. It's just basic, it's all you need if you're wanting to do covers like me and just play with your guitar, play around with some chord progressions, etc. It's also really good for someone starting out because I feel like you don't need to look into what exact microphone to get or what headphones, what um, interface, it all, it's all just a studio kit ready for you here and then you can get better stuff at a later date. So all in all, I'm really happy with my purchase. Hopefully I'll get a few more covers out. I have recorded a cover the other week singing Ed Sheeran, The Joker and The Queen. I've uploaded that on my other channel because I don't want to put like music stuff on this channel because basically this channel is more about my thrifting and car booting and like review videos. So if you guys want to see my little cover of 
Joker and the Queen, then feel free to check that out. I'll leave a link below for you to have a look. So hopefully a few more cover videos every now and again from me. So feel free to give a subscribe to my music channel if you guys want to see videos of my music. <laughs> so that's about it for this week's video. I hope it was useful for you guys and if you've got any questions about setting it up or any troubles with it then just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you, see if I can help. That's about it for this week's video. If you liked it then give me a like and if you want to see any more give me a subscribe. My next video will be a car boot fifting video because the car boots are back baby. They are back. So I am going to be thrifting again this weekend <laughs> so stay tuned for that as well but yeah thanks guys for watching take care bye but i recently uh, because because